Hi guys, Fog of Gaming here and welcome to Battlefield 1. Today we are going to show you 10 or more tips and tricks that you need to know for Battlefield 1. This is mainly for beginners but we are going to start with an advanced tip. If you like to dominate the battlefield with your tank then you are going to love this tip. Drive your tank to this part of the map, right between Foxtrot and Gulf. If you like a long range fight then this little rock will give you all the cover that you need and it will be extremely difficult for any other tank to kill you from far away. This is an amazing spot and you will always have the upper hand. You will have the high ground and you will have cover for your tank. But this is not why we are here. We are going to continue driving so that we can attack the Foxtrot flag. Under normal circumstances it would be impossible for you to attack this flag from up here. You just don't have the angle. Unless you do this. Point the front of your tank towards the center of the hill and try to climb it. Keep driving forward and you will be able to position yourself perfectly to attack anyone on Foxtrot. That from above and nobody will see this coming. And if you have to you will be able to destroy this wooden bridge. Don't worry if you fall down, you will land perfectly on your tracks without taking any damage. I've received a lot of questions about the location of the flamethrower, the tanker rear M1918 and the MG0815. The flamethrower can be found at Bravo, the tanker rear M1918 is available at Echo and last but not least the MG0815 can be found at Foxtrot. For all the pilots amongst you, the E flag can be capped from midair. You can completely capture this flag without leaving your airplane. Line yourself up and as soon as you get there start circling the flag. Depending on which airplane you are flying you can do this at full speed or at slow speed. Everything depends on the maneuverability of your airplane. For example it is better to capture at full speed when you are flying with the fighter. A good tip is to keep your crosshair slightly above the horizon so that you can fly at the same altitude. This will prevent you from crashing into the ground. It will take you 45 seconds to capture a neutral flag on your own. It will also take 45 seconds to neutralize an enemy flag and another 45 to capture that same flag. So that is 1 minute and 30 in total. Every 4.5 seconds you will earn 25 points and you will receive an extra 500 points for a conquest capture. This means that capturing a neutral flag will earn you 750 points in total. Neutralizing an enemy flag will earn you 500 points in total. 10 times 25 plus an extra 250 when you actually neutralize it. But you will only get 5 times 25 instead of 10 times 25 for capturing that same flag that you just neutralized. But you will still get the 500 bonus points for a conquest capture. So that means a total of 1125 points for capturing an enemy flag on your own. Pretty nice hey? Please remember to change the standard minimap zoom radius for an improved situational awareness. Most people don't know that changing the standard settings also changes the different zoom ranges available to you when you change the zoom in game. For example the on foot zoom radius is automatically set to 75. This will allow you to select 38, 75 or 150 meters in game. If you change the on foot radius to 300 for example, then you will be able to select 150, 300 and even 600 meters. That is double the available range compared to the standard setting. If you want to know the distance to a certain flag, then just aim in the general direction and it will automatically show up. This is very useful information. It can help you in selecting your next target, but it will also help you when you are sniping. If you know the distance to your target, then your next shot will be a lot more accurate. When you are the squad leader, you can order your squad to capture a certain objective. This will highlight the flag for your team, but it will also show the distance to that flag. Even if you don't aim at that particular flag, you will still be able to see the distance. If you want to charge your enemy then first press sprint and once you start sprinting then press melee. This is very easy to do but know that you can only do this with one of the four standard classes. So only with the assault, medic, support or scout class. You can't do this as a pilot, a tank driver or a horse rider. And you cannot do this when you have picked up a kit on the battlefield. 
So you won't be able to do this when you are holding a flamethrower, a tank aware or the MG0815. If the worst should happen and you die, I mean this will never happen to a good player like you right? And you know that there are no medics in the vicinity, then don't waste your time waiting for a revive and skip it. Just press spacebar and get it over with. When you are dead, you can select the spawn point again and you can see the redeploy timer underneath the cancel button. When you enter a vehicle, you will see a very nice animation. If you want to save a few seconds, then you can already start driving. You don't have to wait until the animation is finished. Last but not least, know your weapons. Some of them can easily overheat. For example, the Lewis gun will overheat as soon as you fire 36 bullets in full auto. So don't get caught with your pants down. This was Fog of Gaming. Remember to like the video if you learned something new today. And I will see you on the battlefield.